Hi, and welcome back. So today we are in the Tesla. We've got a new software update with a lot of new features. Well, really good features. Uh, and this is, this is software update 2023.38.6. A lot of good features. Before I get started, I just want to say thanks to everyone for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't yet and you like this, please consider clicking that subscribe button. So let's turn the camera around. We'll get right into the update and go over the features. Okay, so here we are on the uh, software update again, 2023.38.6. And so the first thing is we've got faster hazard lights. So Tesla partnered with a company called ESS, Emergency Safety Solutions. And this company did testing to determine that if your hazard lights flash at a different frequency, it's far safer uh, for a disabled vehicle on the side of the road. Uh, they call it the H-E-L-P system. And so basically in certain uh, vehicle incidents, I'm assuming an airbag or, you know, uh, certain incidents that crash. I don't know the cutoffs. Obviously, Tesla's not releasing that. Uh, your hazard lights will flash in this mode, which is really, really nice that they partnered with this company. So what it actually says, though, is faster hazard, faster hazard lights after a crash. If your vehicle is in a crash, hazard lights that are still functioning will flash faster to be more visible, not applicable to all vehicle incidents. So that's a really great feature. I really like that one. Uh, the next one is location sharing. So what this is, is it says, I'm going to read it and then I'll explain. It says location sharing. An icon appears at the top of your touchscreen when an app requests your vehicle's live location data. You can turn off sharing at controls, safety, allow mobile access, which also turns off Tesla app access. When this setting is on, your vehicle communicates directly with the Tesla app and other apps, but Tesla does not track your location. Basically, what this means is, uh, if you have third-party apps that, that can track your location by tapping, you will get this. If someone does that, you'll see this icon on the top of your screen. Um, but in addition, the Tesla app itself. So my wife and I both have Teslas and occasionally we'll check on each other. We don't care about this feature, but let's say she's, uh, you know, driving somewhere and I go into the app and check her location by hitting location on her car, she will see this icon on her map, our screen and know that I'm checking her location. She'll know that I'm looking up, you know, checking up on her. Um, that, so you can turn it off, but if you turn it off, then you can't, your app uh, doesn't connect to the vehicle, which means you can't use your phone as a key. So you know, there's no like sub option just to turn off the notification. You have to completely turn off app access, which then makes your phone no longer a key um, to connect to your vehicle. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice feature that, you know, you'll know if someone's checking on you, but uh, if you just don't want to be bothered with it in a family of Teslas, there's not a way to just shut it off without disabling your phone as a key. So that's what that one is, um, you know, whether it's good or bad, that's up to you. And then Windows during an update. This is a nice feature. It says, during a vehicle software update, the windows may adjust minimally so that doors can open and close more easily. The doors will return, windows will return to their position after the update. Basically, this is because as you know, when you open a door, your window lowers slightly so it clears the molding. Um, well, during an update, your car is not able to do that. So it will just lower the windows slightly so that way they already clear the um, molding. So if during an update you open or close the doors, you don't risk damaging your windows. So those are the updates, the windows, the location sharing, and the faster hazard lights after a crash, which I think is a great feature. And then also they've added some minor fixes and improvements. So yeah, overall, I think this is a really great update. I like the features. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think Tesla's doing a lot of good things for us. I love the safety feature. That's awesome because uh, I was just reading an article of how many people are killed when their vehicle is disabled and they're on the side of the road and people just don't realize it and, and you know, and, and hit their disabled vehicle. So this is a really, really, really great safety feature. So thanks again for watching. 
Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.